I sit in my room alone, reading the news, staring at the pack bag of clothes. Soon, I'll be out of school. <laughs> Can't believe you failed four out of five subjects. How many schools have you been to? Beep! You. Why are they kicking you out? I really hated that icky kid. He always looked something awful. His whole face was covered in pimples, and he always scratched his butt. Anyway, he asked the most irritating questions. He just wants to know everybody's business. Tonight, I'm going out on a date with like the hottest girl ever. <coughs> Are you joking? No, we're gonna have a good time. Aw, oh, man. Wait, who is it? Who Jane, is it? Jane Gallagher, dude. Dude, I know her! Yeah. Hey, baby. That's Stradlater. He's my roommate. Tall, strong, handsome. Friendly, lazy, and conceited. <coughs> oh, yes. He was a huge phony. Especially with all the ladies. While Strahlander was on his date with Jane Gallagher, I didn't want to stay in the dorm room with Eki. So, I decided to pay my old teacher, Mr. Spencer, a visit before I leave the school forever.
Okay, Mr. Spencer, I really don't need this. I don't really want to discuss this right now. So if you don't mind, I'm going to go pack. Goodbye. My fellow readers, the object that I'm trying to describe to you is a baseball mitt. It was owned by the most extraordinary little kid named Ali. He had wrote on the palm of the mitt so he could read it when he was in the outfield. The end. I can't stop thinking about Ali. He's my little brother, who died several years ago from leukemia. I miss him. He was the most intelligent member of the family. He was also an incredibly nice kid. I miss him. I still remember the night he died. I slept in the garage and broke all the windows with my hands. Allie, if you're still here, just know that I miss you. Who'd you call? I'm gonna go get a taxi. Now shut up and drive. No, that's not what I mean, but okay. Um, can I ask you something? Sure. The duck in Central Park. Where do they go during the winter? Where do you think they go? Stop asking stupid questions. Oh. Can you get can you bring me to the the hotel room? Sure. Hotel, I mean. Sorry. Yeah, here. Okay. I accidentally gave you my parents' address. Thanks a lot, man. Here's uh, the money. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Good point. Yeah, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> Hello? Is this Miss Faith Cambridge? Who is this? Who's calling me at this crazy goddamn hour? Well, I know it's quite late. I hope you'll forgive me. But I was very anxious to get in touch with you. Who is this? Well, you don't know me. But my friend of mine suggested to me to give you a call when I was in New York. We should get together for some cocktails. By any chance, do you know what time this is? What's your name anyway? You sound like a young kid. Ah, <laughs> well thank you for your compliment. And Holden Copperfield is my name. Well, Mr. Coffle, I'm in, I'm not in the habit to make engagements in the middle of the night. I'm a working gal. I gotta get my beauty sleep. I thought we might just have one cocktail together. It isn't too late. I could even come to your place. Ew, you sound very attractive. But it is late, honey. Perhaps we can go out for cocktails tomorrow? I can't make it tomorrow. Tonight's the only night I can make it. But never mind. Good night.